The 1960s marked a giant leap in technology firsts. This was the Apollo decade, and it would take a series of firsts to get man to the moon. The computer was at the top of the list. Early computers were way too big and heavy for a moon mission. The computer programmers had to design something much smaller and lighter. Previous computers relied on large vacuum tubes to process information. The engineers at Draper, formerly the MIT Instrumentation Lab, realized that using transistors would pave the way for much smaller and more efficient machines. Chips were tested over and over under harsh conditions to ensure reliability. The Apollo Guidance computer was no more powerful than a calculator, but used a real-time operating system to control the spacecraft. The electronics were more basic than your modern toaster, with just 64 kilobytes of memory. Remarkably, during the multiple Apollo missions, the guidance and navigation computer systems never experienced a failure.